Hi, I'm Sam, the founder of The Wonderhood. I'm a hypnobirthing and antenatal teacher and a mum of two. I believe that all births are unique and no matter the place or type of birth you choose, if you have the knowledge and practical tools, then you can confidently approach birth in a way that is right for you, your body and your baby. Breathing is one of the most important tools that you will have to help you stay relaxed throughout your labor and honestly the rest of your life. These techniques are so easy to learn and practice during your pregnancy. Okay, so there's two types of hypnobirthing breathing. The first one is called up breathing and the second one is down breathing. So really simple, these two breaths are for the different stages of labor and they're designed to help you get through your contractions and make sure that your body is working to its full potential throughout labor and birth. In the first stage of labor, remember your uterus muscles are pulling upwards to help open your cervix. So this is why it's called up breathing, to complement that upward motion of your muscles. It's going to help your body to work as efficiently as possible. It's also making sure that you've got enough blood flow to your uterus muscles and your placenta. And this means that they'll get enough oxygen via your blood and that can help your baby stay happy and allows your uterus muscles to work effectively for much longer. Using this breathing technique can also help you to relax your jaw, drop your shoulders and help you let go of any tension that you've got in your body. Remember that link between your jaw and your pelvis that we've talked about already. If your jaw is relaxed, then this can help to release tension in your pelvis. There's a phrase that people often like to use. I'm not a massive fan, but floppy face, floppy fanny. I mean, it doesn't really quite work like that. Your baby isn't just gonna breeze right out if you relax your jaw, but that phrase might help you to remember that relaxing your jaw and avoiding clenching your teeth will actually generally help your muscles to move and flex more easily. The other brilliant thing about this breath is that as you breathe out, you'll produce loads of oxytocin, absolute winner. Both partners, this breathing technique is also super important for you too. So you also need to conserve your energy. So it's a really great way to help you with that. If you are keeping calm and relaxed, then the mum or birthing person is more likely to mirror you. So then you're both lovely and calm. Okay, this breath is really simple. So you take a deep breath in through your nose. And that's simply because that feels just the most natural way for us to breathe in. And then breathe out slowly through a slightly open mouth. So your breath out should be naturally longer than the in breath and that'll give you a lovely feeling of release. And remember on the out breath, that's when you produce the most oxytocin. Okay, so in through your nose and out through your mouth. So in terms of counting, it's totally your decision. Personally for me, I don't like to count as I find it distracting. I think because I'm small and my lung capacity, it just never fits with the standard counting. But anyway, if you don't want to count, then absolutely fine. But if you think counting might help, then you could count in for four and out for more. But just do what feels right for you. Okay, so let's try it together now. Take three deep up breaths. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. So I'm just gonna talk you through this, but do this in your own time. So in through your nose and out through your mouth when you're ready. And last one, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, hopefully you'll notice a little bit of a difference now and you'll feel a little bit more chilled. I know I definitely do. That is oxytocin. So you can use this in the first stage of labor. So during early and established labor. And you should start using it as soon as you need to. Once your contractions have started and then all the way up to when you're ready to push. When you first feel a contraction coming, you can start to use your breathing and then continue as it ramps up. And then as it starts to pass, you can slowly go back to your normal breathing and then repeat. 
So you should practice your up breathing as much as you can during your pregnancy so that it'll be really easy and natural for you to use once you're in labor. You can also use this breathing technique in everyday situations. So before a midwife appointment or a scan, or if you've got a big meeting, or basically any time that you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed or anxious even. Remember your up breathing as it can really, really help you to relax and stay calm in those moments. So the more practice you can do before labor, the easier these will be to use and they'll come as second nature to you when you need them. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.